race fans, this is Owen McCall, and we're here at the New Smyrna Speedway tonight, July 15th, 2017, for the third feature race of the night, the Modifieds. Seven Modifieds are set to roll for 25 laps, and as they are on the track, it's going to be Wayne Parker in the 1W on the pole, with the 66 of Jerry Samos on the outside. Row two, it's going to be the pro late model feature winner, Jeff Chiquette in the nine into his outside of the double zero. Moving up from the Bombers, that is Matt Thornton. Row three, it's going to be Stephen McCurley in the 88 and Alan Bruns of the 4B. Rounding out this field in the 90, that is Mike Dom. The other nine car of Art Kunzman will not be able to make the start of this feature race tonight. For the last time we were here at New Smyrna a couple of weeks ago at the Clyde Hart Memorial, uh, Wayne Parker appeared during one of the support races, which was the Modifieds. Parker led all 25 laps at an extremely blistering pace and won the feature. So let's see if he can do that again tonight, or will that driver starting in second, that's the 66 of Jerry Simons, the defending Modified Points Champion here at the New Smyrna Speedway. Can he get the victory tonight? I guess we'll have to see what happens. 25 laps in a short track environment, anything can happen. Also, before we begin this race, I'd like to give a big shout out to our flagman Ralph and our escorting lady Binky, as tonight, July 15, 2017, they celebrate 41 years of marriage. So congratulations, Ralph and Binky. Now the 4B of Alan Bruns, twice he spun out during that heat race. He also spun out during practice. We'll keep an eye on that 4B of Bruns to see if anything happens with him during this race. Right now it's the one to go signal. Caution lights are out around the track. Everybody is doubled up, ready to go. 25 laps of modified racing action await us here tonight at the New Smyrna Speedway. Let's just say that the pro late models are going to be a hard finish to beat. So let's see if these modifieds can top that. Pace truck pulling off of the track, looking for the green flag. Green flag comes out. We're racing. Jerry Simons looks like he's trying to use the outside lane to hop out to the early lead, but Wayne Parker's not going to have it. Parker's going to try and stick low on the inside as they head down the back straightaway. Side by side they go. Simons looks like he's poking out a little bit up at the top. No, Parker. Here we go of a turn four. Wayne Parker has the lead. Lap one is in the book. Looks like the 4B of Alan Brun has immediately fallen off the pace. He's drifting up high on the track and slowing down. So we're going to see if he can get that car off the track because if he cannot get that car off the track fast enough, the caution flag will have to come out. And the caution flag is coming out because Alan Bruns is not moving fast enough. He has fallen so far off the pace that even if he is able to get the 4P off the track, he's moving so slow it poses a danger. So the caution flag is coming out because of the 4B of Alan Bruns being too slow on the track. Something has gone wrong on his car.
All right, one to go signal coming out. Everybody is going to get doubled up. Caution lights are out around the racetrack. Wayne Parker, still your leader, followed by Jerry Simons, Jeff Chiquette, Stephen McCurley, Matt Thornton, and Mike Dom. Here we go. Pace truck pulling off of the track down the pit road, looking for green. Green flag is coming out. Jerry Simons gets the start. Parker's going to come back to the front pretty quickly as Simon stays low on the inside. And Wayne Parker gets the lead. And that one W. Simons is going to see what he can do to get around him here, or at least get him. trying to instigate a battle for second now with Simons. So I'm going to keep an eye on that right now. Uh, the realm between the 66 and the 9. As Chiquette looks like he's going to try up high to get around Simons. Not going to happen. Chiquette's going to try again. And here we go. Battle for the second spot. Coming out of turn number 2. Jeff Chiquette up high. Not going to happen. Jerry Simons slams the door on him. Chiquette's going to try down low now. Simon still has second. Close but no cigar for Chiquette. He's going to stay as low as he can now to try and get around Jerry Simon. To try and build up more speed to get a run on him. Chiquette goes down low. Chiquette's going to stay low off of four. To the line. Jeff Chiquette has second. Jeff Chiquette has taken second spot from Jerry Simons. Let's see if Simons retaliates to get that second spot back. Now halfway through with the modified feature event.
Second caution is out for the 90 of Mike Dom. His car is slow, is so slow on the track it's practically come to a halt. Now it has come to a halt. He was not able to get that car to pit road. And the second caution of the night waves. For the same reason as the 4B of Alan Bruns, he could not get that car off the track fast enough. Second caution of the night has come out. to go signal everybody's going to double up while the tow truck pushes the 90 of Dom back into the pits Right, pace truck pulling off of the track. Green flag is coming back out. We're racing again. Wayne Parker retains his lead as they go back through one and two. Chiquette is in second. Here comes Stephen McCurley challenging Jerry Simons for the third spot in the 88. But Simons will remain in third. Five to go, folks. Five to go. Coming to the line, there is two laps to go for your leader, Wayne Parker. He has this race in the bag unless anything mechanical goes wrong with that car. White flag, last lap. Coming to the checkered flag, Wayne Parker has set another dominating performance in the Modifieds. That'll be followed by Jeff Chiquette, Jerry Simons, Stephen McCurley, and Matt Thornton.
All right, race fans, here he comes down the front straightaway towards the Hampton and Victory Lane. Your winner in the modifieds, that is the 1W of Wayne Parker.